Hello, mathematicians. Today we'll be reviewing Math Objective K.4b, where you're going to be investigating and describing part whole relationships for numbers up to 10. So we're going to be doing some addition and um, using some manipulatives. If you have a 10 frame handy, or if you want to draw one up, we're going to be using that if you'd like to practice along with me. Before we do that, though, I would like to share a book with you. This book is called Animals on Board, and it's a math start series book, which I really enjoy because it teaches some really great mathematical concepts. So the author is Stuart J. Murphy, and it's illustrated by R.W. Alley. Animals on Board. My truck chugs slowly down the road, carrying a special load. I'm the driver, my name is Jill. I make sure that my load won't spill. A big green truck goes by, goes roaring past with three fierce tigers. Count them fast, one, two, three. Don't look now, here come two more. Add them up and they might roar. So we have three and two more. Together is gonna give us one, two, three, four, five. Six white swans are passing by. They have wings, but they don't fly. Look out now, here comes another. Maybe it's their little brother. So six and one more is seven. That's a funny thing to see. Four green frogs are passing me. These look like really big animals. My truck keeps moving. It doesn't stop. Four more frogs pass. Hip hop, hip hop. So if we have four, let's practice counting on. After four would be five, six, seven, eight. Four and four more is eight. One more truck is passing now. Seven prancing horses. Wow. Then another truck I see. This one holds another three. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven and three more is ten. The next truck holds a splendid sight. Nine plump pandas, black and white. A red truck passes me with care. What's in the back? Nothing is there. So nine and zero is still nine. But on the front's a special sign, time for me to get in line. It says wide load, but this sign says to the park. Hmm, I wonder if this is an animal park, like a zoo maybe? At last I reached my final stop. My truck held the tippy top. So now that all our work is done, it's finally time to have some fun. Ooh, the tippy top. Maybe it's a circus. Can you find five tigers, seven swans, eight frogs, ten horses, and nine pandas? 
So not a circus. Nope, but a carousel. All right, did you hear how we were joining those quantities together? We were starting with two parts and we were putting them together and the whole was bigger, was larger. There were more animals at the end. All right, let's take a look at how we're gonna use our 10 frame and some counters to do some more addition. All right, mathematicians. So I've got my 10 frame here. I also was able to find some of those red and yellow counters that we used um, in our classroom. So we're only gonna be working with quantities that add up to 10, so that's all I need today. If you're practicing at home, you can get yourself 10 pennies or 10 um, small minis or little toys um, that can help you um, solve some of these number sentences. So like I said, we're gonna be doing some addition. We're putting our quantities together and I'm gonna write out a number sentence and then we're gonna use our manipulatives and our time frame to solve, to find the answer. So the first number sentence that I'm going to write in is six and three. Okay, so those are the two parts and I'm gonna combine them to see how many I have all together in a whole set. Okay, so if my first number is six, I'm going to use, I'm gonna use the red side first. So I'm gonna use six red counters and place them on my 10 frame. I could count each one of them out, but because I know the top row of my 10 frame is five, I'm gonna fill that one right away and then put one more on and know with confidence that that is six. Now I want to add three more, but I'm gonna make them yellow so I can see how these two smaller quantities are joining together. So I'm gonna add three yellow counters. The color is not super important for this story, but I just wanna see the difference between the first part and the second part. What I wanna do is find out how many counters I have all together, red and yellow. So if I know the top row is five, if the bottom row is five, but there's one missing, what's one less than 10? Nine, sure. Or I can count on from that six, seven, eight, nine. Gives me the same result, just two different ways to solve for it, okay? So I will write six and three is nine counters all together. Let's try another one. So before I can start a new equation, I need to go ahead and remove all of the counters that were on my 10 frame because I'm starting completely over. So I'm gonna take those, actually, I'm just gonna sweep them all off to the side. And then I wanna erase the numbers because my equation is gonna be different this time. All right, so this time my starting number is going to be two and I'm gonna add four more. All right, so I'm gonna stick with my first number, my first part being red counters. So I'm gonna add two to my frame. And then I'm gonna add four more yellow counters to add that second part. One, two, three, four, okay? So I can solve this in two ways. I can take a look and count all of the counters together one, two, three, four, five, six, or I can use what I know about a 10 frame and see that the top row is full, so I know that's five, and then one more than five is gonna be six. All right, let's practice one more before I show you your seesaw activity. Hmm, let's see, what if, hmm, what if we have, seven as our starting number. And like the pandas, we're gonna add zero. All right, so my first part is my red counters. I'm gonna add seven red to my 10 frame. Six, 
seven. And the second number is for the yellow part. But how many yellow counters am I gonna add? Zero, none. I don't need to do anything. So how many counters do I have together? Seven and zero is still seven. That quantity doesn't change if you're adding nothing to it. All right, let's take a look at Seesaw today. Here you're gonna look for activity 7.1 math, addition within 10. Click add response, select your name and icon. On this page, you're gonna to wanna to select the hand because you're gonna be moving some of the red and yellow counters to complete your sentence or your number sentence. So let's take a look at our first example. You'll see that the number sentence is right here. It says two and two. So it looks like the example, the first number, they're um, using the color yellow. And for the second number, they're using the red side. It doesn't really matter. It's just showing the difference between the two quantities. So you can pick whichever color you want to start. So here above the first two, they've added one, two yellow counters, and the number says two, two red counters. Together, two and two is four. You'll notice this number is in a box because you're going to pull it from the bottom. You're just going to move it. You don't have to worry about writing in the number unless you want to. Um, you can use your move tool. Okay, so you'll see over here is the yellow counters. Over here we have the red ones. So if I have this number sentence five and four, I can use my move tool and grab one, two, three, four, five. And how many red ones do I need? Yeah, four. One, two, three, and four. Now, don't think that four is the answer because remember that add, that plus sign means and. So you're counting the two quantities all together. So you wanna count five and four together is going to give you nine. So find the nine and drag it into the box to solve the equation. You're gonna continue the same way on page one and on page two. Use those counters as manipulatives to help you out and use the hand tool to drag in the number that you need below to show the result. When you're finished, double check for accuracy and completion and then click the green check to submit.